weapons uh, definitely was the number one hook. I, I can't even remember where the, the initial idea came from. Very, very early on when combo weapons were identified as that, that's the game, that's the hook. That's the thing that's gonna take it over the top from Dead Rising 1. We tried to take some weapons that are like, okay, this is this is an iconic weapon, you know, like the sickle, let's, let's add something to it. And it just kept blossoming. And, you know, Capcom was giving us great feedback, saying we love this stuff, keep going, keep going, and we did. We just kept trying to do as many as we could. The paddle saw, which has emerged into sort of the iconic weapon for Chuck Green, that was one of the very first ones we did. We had a paddle in the game, and we had chainsaws in the game. We're like, okay, paddle, chainsaw, and you're rolling up the river, right? You're taking out the zombies. As soon as it came together, and the audio guys threw some audio on it, and the zombies were getting sliced, that's when we knew that, okay, we've, we've nailed it. We know exactly what's gonna excite people about the game. And with Chuck, his uniqueness is his ability to, you know, be a handyman. He's the guy who can sort of make things work. You know, it doesn't necessarily look like the, the most elegant, you know, invention. You know, it's got a lot of duct tape, you know, solving the problem. A lot of video games might only have uh, 15 or 20 weapons in them. If you look at some of the first person shooters, they have, you know, a few rifles and a few handguns and a few shotguns, and they're awesome and they're great for the game, but 15 weapons versus 300 weapons is an entirely different problem. And in the Dead Rising 2, we have 50 of the combo weapons. So these are weapons that you take two other parts, put them together, and the technology of having weapons that burn zombies and slice zombies and freeze zombies and electrocute zombies, yeah, it's, it's been awesome. There's several times in development of this game where I hear someone like going, I can't believe this, come check this out, and everyone starts running over. And you're saying, wow, we didn't actually ex anticipate that weapon being used in that way. Just the emergent sort of you know, experiences, those creative expression that players can get out of the game has been uh, totally awesome.